Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin and today we are um, going to take a get a first look at the Xeon Crane S. The brand new Xeon Crane S and for the records, this is a real copy. It is not a prototype. This is the finished work, the gimbal on sale right now so we're going to be unboxing and checking out how the final product really is and uh, whatever else we can achieve today coming up all right guys welcome back it's been a long time waiting first of all i had to let it stay for a day almost two days after it arrived I had to let it stay for safety reasons. We had to do some purification. We let it because that's what is advised anyway. Even for your letters, when you get your letters at home, you're supposed to you know either sanitize them or just leave them for about a day, and you are good to go. Whatever contamination it has, you know, because there's a series of a number of ways stuff could get contaminated, namely from. The postman to the actual postage or whatever this is straight from from china so okay if you're new to this channel please uh, i will appreciate if you subscribe because this is just the first of it this is a channel where we do music movies and more and it's pretty much about it my journey to the cinemas because i i have this big dream okay? kind of like you know to make it to the cinema someday, make my movies, that's always been my dream. Um, but of course, Rome was not building the day, I had to blend the ropes. I'm on this journey and I and I practice on YouTube basically. So I'm looking for like minds that we can rub heads together and grow together. Uh, your dream may be the same, it may be slightly different, but we can all run together and encourage one another. That's the point. Now, unboxing. I'm, this this uh, product is not a prototype. It's not a, a sponsored um, version from Zen Crane. This thing came out of the sweat of quarantine fever. Huh? Yeah, and it's supposed to like you know <sighs> encourage. It's supposed to you know. I just don't want to be in a dull moment. I just don't want to you know. This is to brighten my day as well as yours. Hopefully somebody learns something and you know is able to decide if this is actually for you so you don't have to buy. I have a feeling it's for me and um, I'm actually getting this because of my FS5 which of course I am recording this on but um, my Moza Air gimbal could not do the job with the FS5 so when this came out, when it was announced, I knew I had that that's the guy I have to wait for. Because this can handle way bigger cameras than Alright. Well the camera, the red camera, it had to be the red, huh? Yeah. <sighs> Push, push, ow, ooh, there is something in here. We have uh, probably the instructions manual or something. Okay, get it. We have this over here. So let's get let's uh, let you uh, let me let you get the first look. Uh oh, how do we do? Push in or push out? Whoa. Okay, we gotta pick it up, pick it up. All right, so uh, here we go. So it looks like you get to see it before me. Ooh, come on. Ow. 
You get to see it before me. How is it doing? How we doing? Is it? Oh! <laughs> wow. This looks like some weapons. Ah! You may have seen. Oh, this thing looks real tampered. I guess it was custom, but it's it's really out of place. I don't know, like maybe it was done in a hurry, but hopefully everything is in place. Um, yeah, so much things. This is flying out, not properly locked into its socket. Or oh, they pushed it in and this picked out. So I can see things half opened. Hopefully it's at the custom checkpoint or stuff like that, I don't know. But, but it's definitely brand new, definitely looking decent. And if it's not, we'll find out. I'll talk about the battery first. Three batteries, hopefully I can use uh, the same battery. My battery, I have extra batteries from Moza Air and I'm hoping that this will those will be extras here too and everything works together I have like you know. next is um, uh, Manfrotto type plate yeah um, I'll figure it out now let me make something clear this is my first time with the Xeon crane any of them when I've never I've never held any of those I've never touched I've never seen physically just online so bear with me I'm coming I'm a newbie complete newbie coming from uh, Moza Air uh, which was my very first gimbal so I'm still pretty much learning okay so take it easy on me guys yeah so next is this um, this is uh, Wow, this is strong. This is this is the hardest I've ever seen. Oh, wow, this is this is serious. <laughs> this, is, this is very good. This is well crafted, well made. Versus, maybe we we'll do a versus, huh? But I mean, the general finish work. This is already a winner. Um, next will be this handle. Okay, it's lighter, lighter than I thought. Um, yeah, I, I was thinking one heavy, you know. This one, yeah, it's lighter than I thought. Some buttons over here, which, I, which I'm yet to figure out. And then this will be the zooming, or what's it called? Pulling, of course, the full, you know, focus. It kind of feels like the tilter cage, which I just ordered for anyway. Um, yeah, I'm really, I really can't wait to see how pulling, I have a feeling it's going to be really wonderful. Pulling focus with the tilter, that's by the way. And then um, this slot, let me find out what this is. Oh, this is where the cables are. We have stickers here, you know, which I don't care for much. Anti-mode packet. Oh, okay. Keep them in there so, you know. Um, those are the wires and uh, um, let me see if anything looks like it's for the black magic uh, anyway I didn't get this for the black magic pocket cinema camera 4k um, I'm hoping to this is solely for the um, Nothing else, let me put this aside. Let me put this over here. And uh, what is this? It's got some heads, I think. Uh, some screws, okay, Allen key, some screws. Put it over here, and then one little tiny, I don't know. Okay. Whew, mm, yawning again. All these videos, my last video I yawned, all these videos I'm shooting, this is like 4.30 a.m. Oh, 5 a.m., exactly 5 a.m. You know, I haven't slept. Everybody, I mean, everybody in the house, my wife and kids, 
to go to bed before I can have complete silence. And I'm still going to try and edit it. Maybe when I'm exporting, I, I'll go to sleep. So really, I really would appreciate if, if you love anything, if you learned anything, please, besides subscribing, which I, I will appreciate, hit the thumbs up. I don't know Shogun, uh, that was my last video. I put the link here um, with unbox that. And um, first contact with the Shogun, you might want to check that video out because it was my first experience and a lot of people don't know what they're getting into. So I throw some more light in that video about that. Hopefully I'll do the same here. But bottom line is, help me. I need some, if you look at my subscribers count, you know that I need some loving down there. You know, show me some love, like, subscribe, comment, link up, and then I'll join you back and, you know, we could grow together. That would be highly appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this, I don't know what this is, but it looks like a... Mm, Maybe a riser, or it looks like a um, quick release, uh, like a plate for mounting stuff without the um, pin in it. I don't know what that is. Yes, I'm gonna study my manual and uh, learn all I need to know. But I'll do it fast. That I promise. I'll do it fast so I can get it going because I need it to keep my spirit going, and I also need to keep the connect for those of you that are interested i don't want you to run off you know so i'm going to try and do the review and hit it um we're almost there we're almost wrapping up um these two rods these two rods i guess for follow focus mount and stuff like that and then battery charger obviously okay this is this is really nice portable and uh, yeah, this uh, we haven't brought this out. I have no idea what it looks, what this is, but it looks like um, mini rods here. It looks like uh, a lens holder. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But this is a locking mechanism for maybe those rods. Yep. Uh, for the follow focus mount. Yep. For the follow focus mount so yeah not uh so it won't be yeah but this is supposed to hold something maybe follow focus uh lens holder and then this guy will be follow focus we'll see for now that's what i think it is when i'm done with this um uh, yeah i don't think we got this yet um, one of things, one of the things I don't know what. Oh yeah, I seen it. It's uh, from the promo. It's the extension arm. This is the arm that makes all the difference, I guess. That makes it a little bit longer to hold. Um, yeah, and after that, I think nothing else besides the gimbal itself. So I might as well just bring it up. Take a look. Heavy, heavy, heavy. But this is it's doable. Only the camera is not on it yet. <laughs> you know, but you know, I think uh, I think it's it's lighter than I thought. I mean, I'm ready to gym with it. You know, I'm ready to gym with it. This is good. It will be a good workout for me. This isolation period. Okay, 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 calm down. All right, we'll see. I see where the battery goes. It's looking like space for two. Oh, it says space for three. So, oh, one at the bottom. You see that? One at the bottom, and then it shows one, one at the bottom, then two on the side. Um, okay, so um, let me put this back. Ooh. 
Okay, so we have it standing. Now we can. So this is the plate will come in here. At least we could get up to this point. We could get the handle on. We should be able to get the handle on. Let's move this aside and bring this into the picture. Yeah. All right, so here I have no idea how this mounts. This is supposed to go in here somehow. And then uh, we got it. Look. Looking like uh, we will open. So let's turn over our gimbal. Oh, there must be. See that? It slide off. It says slide off. Let me show you on this side. So, so it slide off this one. It's really not heavy. Like, it's heavy, but I mean, what do you expect? You know, so we slide this one off. Okay, let's keep this aside. And that's where, let's keep this somewhere safe. Where's the arc? Yeah. And that's where this guy comes in. Slide it this way. See that? Ready? That sounds good. I'm sure this will look. In place. Now we have the. Oh, whatever that is, like a follow focus. I hope, I haven't heard that this thing is compatible with the Black Magic. I really hope, I really hope um, it can communicate with the camera. Ah, well, with, it, with Sony FS5. You know, for the records, Sony FS5 is part of my tuition. It's composer in film school. That's the camera, that's the official camera, uh, camera we have to use. So, um, you know, it wasn't up to me, but I am glad that I have it. That we'll talk about in another video. Please let me know, you know, I have so many videos coming up now, but you guys can point me in the right direction which you want and I'll see how best we can manage it. But I got a review of the FS5 in 2020 coming up, FS5 Mark II, and I'll compare it with the Black Magic and, um, because I know somebody so used for the black magic. It's it's all right, you know, but I'm glad that I'm here with this FS5 and um, I'm going to learn what I didn't learn. I, I would have loved the other way around, like the FS5 first before the black Mag magic because the black magic is way easier. That's what this guy is here for. And I like the way that, I like the fact that you can lock all the axes, all the axes, you can lock them all. And this grip is just, come on, this, this is, well, the camera is, I keep forgetting the camera is not there. You know, the camera is not there. But uh, luckily the FS5 is really, it's really not a heavy camera. My challenge will be with the Atomos monitor that's gonna be on it. Those are the challenges we will have to face now. Let's see. This thing is tough, it's strong, like, seriously, so. Yeah! Let's look for a good thumbnail. Mm. I think we're done, I think we're done. Um, Learning and practice and then uh, get back here and let you know. What I think about this stuff, you know, how efficient and uh, who is for and if you really need to buy it. It's, uh, it's not cheap, to be fair, to be frank, it's not cheap. Uh, but 
I like the fact that they, they didn't increase it. Like it's pretty much the same price as the Xeon Crane 3. Thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, please. Subscribe to this channel, hit the notification button and um, all, all so that you know um, when we drop a video. Actually, we do every day now, you know. We're trying to do, to drop a video every day now. Let's just like every day, learn one simple thing, you know. One simple thing, my short movie coming up. I've, I've got the making of my documentary. I shot my documentary myself. That's also coming up. And uh, a couple of other behind the scenes for our, our instructional video that I did. That is also coming up. So there's gonna be a lot of BTS behind the scenes. And um, yeah, my tutor cage, my new setup is coming as well for my black magic. So there's a lot, there's a lot. I mean, I, I hope I can cope. But the idea is that it, this will keep me busy during this period and hopefully will translate into keeping you guys busy as well. That's all I got for you today. Um, but I promise to not to disappoint you if you just subscribe. And uh, if you did that, I'll see you in the next video.